The last few weeks have been quite crazy in the clean car space, thanks to the sudden and unexpected tweet from Elon Musk discussing taking Tesla private at $420 US dollars per share. Aside from a bunch of speculation, there's also been some pretty heated discussions online about what the deal may or may not mean, not to mention what Elon Musk really meant when he said, funding secured. So we figured it was time on this channel to lay out some of the things we know for sure about Tesla's potential privatization, as well as some of the things we don't yet know. This video is going to focus on the five things we don't yet know, and there's a companion video which I published already detailing the five things we do know. So make sure you watch that one too if you haven't yet. This one is going to put some backs up, but it's the biggest thing, so we really should deal with it first. Despite what you may have heard or hope, Tesla's privatization deal, especially the one mentioned by Musk that is said to involve the Saudi Arabia Public Investment Fund, is at an early point in the negotiation process. As I mentioned in my other video on the subject, it's not a done deal yet, which means by definition that it may not happen at all. This, of course, is the biggest unknown, especially for someone thinking about buying Tesla stock in the hope of cashing in at 420 US dollars on completion of a deal. Essentially, if you're buying stock right now with that in mind, you're gambling. In the financial world, there's no such thing as a sure thing. And when it is a sure thing, you've probably missed the boat. But as I've said before, I'm not a financial advisor and you shouldn't take anything I say as financial advice. Talk to an investment professional, not an automotive YouTuber. Given all the holdups that could happen, it's not even possible to speculate when this deal will complete, if indeed it does. With so much work to do before any official deal is voted on, there's a lot that could go wrong, so we all need to treat the deal and its timing as an unknown. Although Elon Musk's tweet two weeks ago concerning privatization said funding secured, it's since transpired that funding may not actually be any more than a tentative agreement. I should point out here that I'm not doubting Elon's word per se, but rather noting that the agreement detailed by Musk seems to be contingent on several things. Moreover, the Saudi Arabia PIF hasn't confirmed publicly that it's agreed on the $420 privatization price. Tie this in with reports that it's looking to invest in other electric car firms too, including Lucid, and it doesn't seem 100% set in stone yet. The U.S. Securities and Exchanges Commission, the governmental body that oversees the U.S. stock markets and makes sure that trades are fair, equitable and aims to protect both investors and companies trading on the market, is allegedly undertaking an investigation into Elon Musk's infamous tweet. While it cannot stop Tesla from going private, it can if it decides that Elon Musk was acting inappropriately, punish him in a variety of different ways, from a metaphorical slap on the wrist to fines, being barred from being a company CEO or worse. Because each case is different, what, if anything, the SEC will do after concluding its alleged investigation is an unknown. So too is what an impact to said investigation will have on Tesla's potential privatization. Oh, and if you're sitting there thinking that the SEC hasn't confirmed its investigation, it's worth noting here that the SEC never does. It investigates such matters in private and only makes things public after the investigation is concluded. I can't prove an investigation any more than you can prove it isn't happening, but the SEC does have prior history showing it's likely in this particular case. Remember that $420 share price? Well, assuming the deal goes ahead as promised, it's only going to be paid to those Tesla shareholders who decide that no, they don't want to be part of a private Tesla or can't as an institutional investor and would rather just take the money and leave. It's expected that the majority of private Tesla shareholders will actually retain their shareholding after privatization, transferring their public shareholdings into a special fund, which will then hold a private share in Tesla on their behalf. A little like a mutual fund with just one investment, Tesla. What percentage of institutional or private shareholders deciding to sell for whatever reason is still very much an unknown, meaning we won't know what the final private shareholding makeup will look like until the deal is given the green light. A scare tactics that the Saudi Arabia PIF will own a majority share is patently false and betrays a fundamental lack of knowledge on how Tesla is currently funded. 
Going private can often help a business in the long term. For example, Dell is doing far better now as a private company than it was as a public company. But while we can speculate what the future for Tesla may look like as a private company, we can't know for sure what the long term effects of this will be on Tesla. We also can't say what the impacts will be of the various lawsuits now being planned against Elon Musk or Tesla over the privatization tweet. While it's unlikely that they'll have a major impact long term, they could hold things up a little. Have I missed anything out? Do you think that there's some things I've covered that are actually knowns rather than unknowns? Well, leave your thoughts in the comments below. That's it. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.